Hey guys, this is Noir, and in this video we are going to be talking about a theory that is about Scaramouche and the Raiden Shogun of Inazuma. Before we get into the video, a like and a subscribe would be amazing. Also, check out our channel for more videos related to Genshin Impact. This theory comes from an account called Gian. The link to the account is in the description of this video. According to this theory, Scaramouche isn't a real human being. He was created with and by Ball's blood so that he can continue her legacy or bloodline. Obviously, something went wrong with Scaramouche, so Ball and Inazuma threw him away. This would explain why he looks like Ball and has the hair strand that is the same as Ball, meaning that they are kind of siblings but also kind of not, because he was created by Ball herself. Scaramouche likes to exert his authority over others. This is something that is true to his character, and since he has God's blood running through him, that explains his personality. Powerful blood means powerful authority, and that's why he likes to exert his own. This theory is also backed up by a certain artifact's description, the Pale Flames Goblet. The Pale Flames Goblet, also known as the Surpassing Cup, has this written in its description. He was born with a face fairer than any other, destined to live a long life in a hollow will. He was a transient being, divinely created, but he was cast aside like worthless dross. Yet, due to an error that cannot be known, he roused himself from slumber and began to wander the mortal realm. Before the Fatui found him, he had drifted for countless years, and in that time, this is what experience had taught him. I am a human who surpasses all others. Even the gods daren't meddle in my fate. Neither mortal nor god, nor fate itself, is qualified to be my judge. I am free to choose how I wish to spend the remainder of my days. Since these mask-wearing people are so fun to be around, I think I'll become one of them. Many believe that this theory might be true since the resemblance is very much on point, and it may also be a way to bring Scaramouche into the story of Inazuma. In the Inazuman storyline, we also might witness Scaramouche somehow making a deal with the Electro Archon to hand over the Gnosis that he will promptly give to La Signora. This sort of diplomatic approach, like how we saw with Rex Lapis, Maybe the way that the Fatui go about getting the Gnosis in the Inazuman storyline. The reason for this being that the Electro Archon has a pretty big army and some powerful characters such as Kujo Sera at her disposal, making a head-on battle much more difficult for the Fatui. If Scaramouche really is a Hollow and is related to Ball, it will be interesting to see his transformation like we saw with Child's Foul Legacy. What level of power that we might see when he's in that form is anyone's guess. And that's all for this video. If you also think that Scaramouche and the Raiden Shogun are related, tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.